Let's give it a go. We need a good start here, starting with the inside. Thankfully, we don't get much of a dirty line on F1 2020. Let's have a good start here. Very, very aggressive stuff by Albon there. Oh, let's have that then. Yes, we're following through. Let's go. Round the outside of there. My word, that is a good move. Maybe. Look how tight he's going to the inside. We're going to have to go on the outside here. But we'll stop just about outbreaking massively. Move done. Round the outside once again. Up to P4 it is then. I'm going to send it here. going to try and get him in the next zone. Maybe I should have sent it. He was sloppy there. He broke very early. Let's go on the outside. I knew I'd break that much later. Look, just cruise on the outside. They got held up by traffic. They're still held up by traffic. By Williams, who started on mediums. Same strategy, copying their strategy. I think that's the smartest decision today when we've got this pace and we're not that far away from them. Right, well, can we get them? While they're stuck in this traffic, can we take advantage and actually get past them? Right, runners outside. Surely not. Surely not. Surely not. Oh my word! Squeeze him out! Get out of it, Howerton! Let's go, chat! Let's go! What a move! Is Verstappen going to get Magnussen? Has Magnussen got DRS? He hasn't. He's going to defend, though. Oh! Sneaking up the inside of what is, will be the race leader. That's for a net race lead, chat! 1.7 still. I think if we sweat this, we may have Hamilton's pace. But I realistically, I can't see us keeping that gap. Oh no! There's a the penalty. I told you. I told you it was coming. What a shame. What a shame. That was a Titanic battle, another 0.9. We're quite consistent, but it's not quite fast enough. I'm gonna go for it now. I push that mad. See if we can somehow get him out of DRS. And see if we can maybe put a three second gap. I doubt it. Absolutely everything we got. Absolutely everything we've got. I, I break myself down on purpose to stop me getting DRS. It worked. Whoa, we got him out of the DRS chat. Can you believe it? Come on. Stay away, Hamilton. Can we do it? I can barely speak. This is me on the limit. This is me on the absolute limit. It's fine. He's not going to get DRS. Can we get up to three seconds? 1.6. Can we do it? My heart is beating so fast right now. This is the hardest I think I've ever pushed, certainly in an offline race. All I'm thinking about right now is squeezing every hundredth of a second out in every single corner. 1.9! 2.6! If he saves up some ERS and if he's going to push for a fast lap on the last lap, we might lose it in really cool fashion on the last lap for now, though. It's 3.3 seconds, chat. Last lap. Come on! So close. A little bit lean there. We ran out of fuel. I think we did it. I think we did it. We have done we P1. <laughs> oh my God. He was quicker than us. Couple of tenths a lap on average. We let him get within DRS and I thought that was it. We saved up our ERS. Somehow broke his DRS. And then <laughs> the term qualifying laps has never been more apt. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Shumi at Ferrari career mode. This is episode 14, this is going to be Spa, it is a special circuit. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little previously on section. What a race, what a race we had last time out. I, I, I was sat there watching that with you guys and uh, obviously I did the race last week. I edited, I actually watched those few laps back after the race last week. I edited it today. I watched the final video today and I watched it again there and every time it makes me smile. What a race. Honestly, that, that last week is probably the best I've ever driven for freight laps in a row. Unbelievable. I cannot believe in a slower car where I should not only break Hamilton's DRS but then pull a three second gap. What a race that was. We can only hope for half a good as race today because that was epic last week. But anyway, guys, let's get into this one then. First, I want to say some hellos. Hey, Power Z, Power Z750. Hey, F1 Supreme. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Thomas. Hey, Alex. Hey, Gia. Hey, Marion. Uh, hey, Bailey. Hey, to all the mods. Thank you for joining, guys. I saw Vernon was in as well. Hey, William. Hey, Sensei. Hey, Sven. Hey, James. Hey, Corinna. 
Uh, hey, Harry. Hey, Karan. Hey, Theodore. He says, hello, Alex. Brilliant race last time. Hope for another win today. Fingers crossed. Hey, David. Hey, Think Cheetah. Hey, 23 Duth. Hey, Rick. Hey, Thomas. Hey, Michael. Hey, Peter. Hey, Matteo. Hey, Alex. Hey, Patty. Hey, Harry. Hey, Amazing Pizza 647. Hey, red is the colour. FA. Hey, Speed and Power. I got up to date with the chat just before I, I looked away because otherwise there'd be more coming in. Anyway, should we get into this one? Spa. What a special circuit. And uh, we've got a reasonable car. Now, we've got a, a reasonable car. I'll show you the performance in just a second. Um, but we're going to need to be on form because we've not got the fastest car still. We are going to need to be on form today to be really anywhere near getting another win. Uh, however, another win would be very beneficial. He keeps moaning to me about the practice sessions. Quiet and down. It's, it's fine. Right, here we go. That's the current standings. We actually lead the standings now by 12 points. So that last race win was really important. There's seven points between first and second. And because we would have swapped, that would have been a 14 point swing. Pretty significant. Constructors though, that's what we're really going for. Drivers, that's just me. I just need to drive well. And hopefully if we have the best car come the end of the season, that should be safe-ish. Emphasis on the ish. The constructors is going to be hard because Charles, yeah, he's got less than a third of our points still. He's only got 60 points. Not great from him. Where was he last time out? P8. P8. Not good enough. Not good enough. The Mercedes were t second, but luckily Bottas was only 10th. So we did gain on the last race. But you can see we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We've got nine tracks to go. We're well over the halfway point in this season. And this race is, of course, going to be Spa. We've got some new engine components going in. We've got a brand new engine, actually. Pretty much all of the components are brand spanking new. So that should help us down the straights of Spa. Uh, no problem on, on uh, Gearbox Wear. We have had a update. It's a it's this update, actually. The major front downforce update. Should have been on the car in the last race, but unfortunately, uh, we had some production issues, so it wasn't able to be on the car. So next race, we should have a major drag reduction update. Uh, so that should hopefully help us in the corners. Uh, and of course, you, need to, you want to see the current state. Well, there you go. Third fastest car at the moment, as you can see on the right-hand side there. And the history, Mercedes haven't had an update for this race, by the looks of it. Race the point about a reasonable update. Red Bull had a small update. We also had a we had the biggest update of the top four. So that's now we were fourth last race. We're now third. But look, I mean look, look how close that performance is, and look how close it's been ever since well, Spain. Okay. Okay, there's been three of us that have been close since what, Baku? Somewhere like there where I got fourth. Ma amazingly close. I, I I honestly thought we'd be quite comfortable pulling away. And honestly, at this point in the season, I thought we'd have the best car. Mercedes are putting in a good effort this season, but so are both Red Bull and Racing Point. So uh, we've not got the best car uh, by any stretch of the imagination, but we're going to give it our all. Uh, as always, we're on 110 AI. Uh, damage on full, safety car on, strict corner cutting. All assists off. That's what you need to know, isn't it? Should we get into qualifying then? 18 minutes then. Around, uh, around Spa. And uh, I want you guys to predict this, actually. I have not set it up because I never do. Uh, but if you give me a couple of seconds, I will allow you guys to vote in chat where you think I'm going to finish in quali. Hopefully that'll work. There we go. Okay, put in chat right now just the number of where you think I'm going to qualify for this race. So we've got the third fastest car just. We've been struggling in qualifying lately. Last time out, I think we qualified about 10th. Previous time, I think it was like 14th or something. It was not good. So remember, just the number, no P. Just the number. This little widget here, I made it myself. It looks at the last 60 seconds of chat. Tells me the most common, top five most used words in the last 60 seconds. Lots of numbers coming in. Keep the numbers coming in, guys. So it looks like fourth is the is the top choice at the moment. Third, seventh. So I'm not sure why seventh is particularly up there. It's a bit of a random number. Seventh is is going strong. <laughs> Fourth or seventh. That's, I mean, I don't know why there's a gap, but there is. Now, I'm going to tweak the setup slightly. So I practiced with this setup. Two six wings, 50-55, pretty standard stuff. I'm going to tweak this down a little bit to give us a bit more stability in the corners. It's a bit oversteering some of the corners, and I don't want that to happen. So, uh, okay, so you guys are saying either 7th or 4th. You guys are weird. You lot are weird, but it's fine. <laughs> it's absolutely fine. Let's let's get on with it. Let's get let's get out on track. Park fur, mate. Brand new engine in, of course. Don't need to worry about that. Whew. Right, so... Either 4th or 7th. I mean, <laughs> I'll, I'll try. I <laughs> uh, don't know why there's a gap, but... 
should I right, left, left, left for, for the geometry? Should I? Uh, to be honest, I'm not the sort of person to play around with setups too much. I might put a diff up slightly. Maybe. We'll see how we get on with traction. I, 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 I'm oh, missing the wall. I'm pretty good with uh, with diff now. I know what to do with diff in terms of setup. That, it's not forecast the rain, by the way. But it is spa, and those clouds do look incredibly dark, don't they? They do look incredibly dark. Right. So last time out, we qualified P10. We ended up starting P8 after a couple of penalties. Uh, there's the brand new engine. Look, control electronics is the only slight one component, really. 11%, not too bad at all. Uh, yes, so last time out with a worn engine. wasn't that worn, but it was worn-ish. Probably won't use that engine again, though. Uh, qualified P10. Finished P1 somehow. Started P8 because of the penalties. This time out, you guys are expecting 4th or 7th. To be honest, I'll take either of those. P10, the race before that, P14 or so, not good enough. Not good enough. We need to be going quite a lot up on that. Quite a bit faster than that. The G I'm using is kind of outdated. I, to be honest, this handles all right. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not an esports guy. I'm not expecting to be competitive with with uh, with those with you know online trends. I don't really mind too much. Right, so, 447, yeah, like I said, I'll take either of those. We need to do better than we have done recently. It's been poor recently, if we're being honest. I need to start far out the good. Now, I'm actually going to let Perez go, just because I don't want him to be on me during our qualifying lap. I should be quicker, but I may not be on this first bank lap. So, just going to let him go. There's no point, there's no point kind of sticking too close to him or trying to hold him up. It's back right off here. Right, here we go then. Here we go then. Bank lap, as always, just try and get a reasonable lap to start off with. That's semi-representative. If I bought all the rest of the laps, it won't matter because this lap will hopefully be semi-representative. A little bit deep in there, but we'll take it. Oh, not a great exit, but also wasn't awful. Kevin Magnussen just managed to sneak past him. Thankfully, he's not getting in our way. Although, to be honest, if he was a couple of seconds quicker, we could have maybe got some slipstream down this straight. But never mind. Never mind. Is this short quality? Yes, 18 minute quality, so we'll get three runs. Ooh, it's spa. Maybe we won't get three runs. We'll have to see how many runs we can get. Brand new engine, of course. First time I'm driving this engine, so we're using a very worn engine in practice. Oh, don't want to go off track. Want to get make sure we get a bank in, but it was slow through there. Well, that's my point about the engines was just to talk about straight line speeds. Whoa, almost got off track again. I just want to try and get a banker in here. Not going to be the cleanest of laps, but that's okay. It was better through that. Better through that. We've been having a bit of oversteer through there in practice with our previous setup. This setup, I think, is helping a little bit. It has introduced a bit of oversteer, but it's also made it a bit more stable, which is going to help us a lot in the race. Again, backing off just to make sure I don't get any warnings. I want to make sure I get this lap in cleanly. Brand new engine does give you a lot of performance. Charles has done a 40.5. Can we get anywhere near that? As I said, brand new engine does give you a lot of performance in this line. 39.9 from Ricardo. Wow. The Renault is quick in a straight line. And I tell you what, Charles is right behind a red ball. Is that why? Did he get a bit of traffic on his lap? You'd expect him to be beating a Renault, even though they are quick in a straight line. Not a bad lap. We'll keep on it on the end lap, because we might better do another lap. Only a 41.8. Not good. Not good at all. We're still going a little bit deep there. Don't want to be on that curve. I get a bit of wheel spin on there. That's why we're a tiny bit down. Oh, we've not even beaten Giovinazzi. I mean, I know that wasn't a great lap, but with the second fastest car, you'd think even with an average lap, we'd be top 10. That is not going to be top 10. That is probably going to be 15th, that lap. Maybe even worse. So let's stay on at this lap. We will complete it if we can. If, uh, if the time's going to be up. Push a bit harder this time, though. Not worry so much about track limits. There you go. There's two tenths gained through there alone. We've been too cautious with track limits, I think, before. Turned in too late. Oh! Not the fastest way around that corner, should we say. So the rear end's still a little bit light through there, but it's not too bad. It's better than it was. Two and a half tenths up. I'll take that. Again, being a bit more risky with track limits. Not bad through there. Better than it was last time out. Four I'll definitely take four tenths. We'll complete this lap. 
Well, we don't completely bottle the final chicane. Four tenths is not bad. We're wearing our tyres a bit more than we'd like, of course, but we're probably not going to get three runs in anyway, so a double run makes sense. Let's back out of it there. Oh, we break far too early. Bottled it. Bottled it. We lost three tenths. And it was too late. <sighs> Wasn't paying enough attention, to be honest, in that final chicane. Ah, that's annoying. <laughs> We're still behind Magnuson. Probably only get one more run. Ah. That is, that is deeply annoying. That is deeply annoying. We're going to have to do better than that next time out. 110 AI are kind of OP here. They're OP at every track. We actually need to save a bit of fuel. Should have done a bit more of a lifting coast set. Oh, that is really frustrating me, that is. But it's okay. We've got plenty of time to get more laps. But that was not great, was it? That was not great at all. Bottling the final set to that badly. 39s now. We're only in 41s. We're almost two seconds off the pole time at the moment. Stay out of Magnus's way here unless he's on an in-lap. I think he might be. He's quite slow in a straight. Yeah, he is. And his boss is on a hot lap. Probably is, actually. I can't really get out of his way, though, because Magnus is sort of in his way. <laughs> that wasn't really my fault, to be honest. Whoa, Magnus is just sticking up the inside. They don't know how to react. When they're not on a hot lap, they try and give you lots of room. But when you're not going full pelt, they don't know what to do. We just compromise Bottas's lap. That's okay. He'll get another lap. Well, well, well. We're over a second off our teammate. 1.2 off our teammate. Only P12. And there's not even everyone set a time yet. We need to find a lot more time. I did say I want a good quality today, but quality is not my strong suit, it seems, against this AI. That was genuinely a cleaner final turn than I did on my hot lap, and I wasn't even trying. Well, at least we know... I should practice that bit in. At least we know there's a lot of time to be gained in that final sector. 110 AI really weak at Singapore. <laughs> Bar is one of the best, but I prefer Mexico, even though the track limits. The track limits do kill it on this game a bit, don't they? It is a bit annoying. It is, it is a good circuit, though. I do like it. Hey, Thomas. I had a great day. Thank you. Very productive day. I'm going away this weekend. The uh, lockdown has just eased in, uh, in England. So I'm able to actually go and see some friends. I'm going to go see some friends this weekend, trying to have a productive week leading up to that point. Now, nine minutes. It's not enough time. It's not enough time. I think we go for a double run. We can we can go out again, but we won't be able to get we won't be able to get back in in time. We maybe may have been able to do it if we didn't take that second lap. We thought it was going to be a four tenth improvement, and we ended up with a tenth. Our teammates only eleventh. Why is why have we got no quality pace? Why has the Ferrari got no quality pace? What's going on? This happened a couple of races ago as well. We've got the third fastest car. And yet, we're not even in the top 10 at the moment. Look at these purples, by the way. Oh, Bottas. We completely bottled his middle sector. He was on for a, for a definite quick lap. Me and Magnussen really compromised him. We made him lose seven tenths in the, in the middle sector alone. He would have been on pole. Ricardo, less than a tenth off pole. What? That was a mega lap by Ricardo. Well, well, I mean, what, what can we expect here? Look, Charles is P12. We're P16. Are we on to start outside the top 10? Even with a brand new engine in. We need to find a second just to match Charles. A second to match him. I think you're right. I think the AI are OP here. That's insane. I mean, we know we've got three tenths in one corner. And I, I'm sure I can find half a second quite easily across the lap. But a second? And then 1.8 to pole? But again, we should have the third fastest car. Not quite as quick as Mercedes. We should be the same speed as Red Bull and Racing Point. They're only a couple of tenths off. If you want to know we should be able to do a 40 flat. Charles so might be able to find half a second in the last sector. In the, sorry, in the last lap, in the last run. Who knows? But we need to find one and a half seconds. Wow. Charles doesn't want to show up Michael Schumacher. <laughs> What's your best track? 
my best performance track is probably Austria, I would say. But although last time I went to Hungary, I ended up quite enjoying Hungary. I, not, I used to hate it. Um, I do like Spa, though. Spa's definitely up there. Right, how long do we need to leave then before we go out? Uh, right, got the new tyres on. We're going to... We take out all the fuel we had. 3.9. We had... Almost a lap spare. 7 kilos. 7 kilos and we'll save a bit on the outlap. That'll be alright. Uh, 3 laps exactly. Yeah, perfect. And we'll save a lot on the outlap. So, how long do we need to leave? To get 2 runs in. We need to leave soonish. We need to do an outlap. And then a hot lap. It's a 1 minute 41. So we need 2 minutes save for the outlap. To cross the line with about 2 minutes left as well. Just less than that maybe. So about 4 minutes or so. I'll leave one is around about 4 minutes remaining. What about Monaco? Uh, like it? Personally, I don't. But I don't mind it to drive. I do like it as an F1 circuit. I think it, it's unique. You know, the race really happens on Saturday. We know that. But the challenge really is threading it through the barriers as fast as you can. It's not It's not about overtaking at Monaco. It's, a, it's just a different appeal to Monaco. Everyone hates it because there's no racing. But you don't have to have, you know, wheel-to-wheel -wheel battles to make it a great race, I don't think. Um, the challenge, like I say, is, is keeping it between those barriers. It's, it's such a hard circuit to do that. That is, that is the challenge of, of Monaco. Anyway, P16 at the moment. It's mad, isn't it? We, if we find a second on this run, we go only gain three positions. <laughs> mad. Do sim damage. Against the AI, it's a bit silly, to be honest. They, they do some weird things sometimes. Try mediums. No, because we're battling to get in the top 10 anyway. Well, we'll have a, there's no point in going mediums because if we don't, realistically, we're probably not going to be able to find 1.2 seconds. So we'll be starting outside the top 10 and we'll have a free choice of tyres anyway. I don't think mediums will be faster. They're, they're supposed to be about half a second lap slower, I think. Uh, yeah, but they're supposed to be half a second lap slower. I doubt the overheating. We've got minimal tyre pressures. Mazda's pin to find himself on top of a yacht or in the water. <laughs> He'll definitely have a few crashes, won't he? Let's be honest. He'll be in the wall a few times. To be fair, the car does not look nice to drive, but <laughs> he's doing particularly badly. But anyway, let's, that's, that's enough about Mazepin. So, four minutes should be plenty of time. Four minutes should be plenty of time. I always leave this a bit too late, but I'm pretty sure four minutes should be fine. Race track should be an easy soft to medium. Okay, thank you, Bailey. Hey, James. Thanks for joining the stream. F for Mazepin. 15 seconds. Right, so make sure we've got everything. Brand new tyres. 7 kilos of fuel. We'll do some saving on the outlap. And also save some tyres on the outlap. Get the tiny, you probably can't even see it because of the bit rate. But 4 seconds, 3 seconds, 2 seconds, 1 second. Now. Right. Let's do this then. Let's do this. Let's hope we don't get any traffic. We should be okay for traffic. That's why I wanted to leave it late-ish. Because while we're... Hmm... Yeah, I don't know. Let's hope we don't get any traffic. <laughs> we should be one of the first cars out. Oh, no. Williams has beat us to the punch. Never mind. Right. Realistic expectations, then. You guys were obviously hoping for P4 or P7. I don't think there's any way. I don't think there's any way. I'm just, I'm just hoping to be, like, 11th. Unless we can find 1.2 seconds. I mean... I'm going to give my all on this lap. Yes, we know we can have three tenths in the last second. That'll give us a couple of positions. But to be honest, we're 17th anyway. I'm going to give it my absolute all on this lap. Should save enough fuel as well to potentially do two hot laps if we need to. I'm just going to give it everything. If we go off track, we go off track. Then we go again next lap. I'm going to save a bit of tyres, save a bit of fuel on this outlap. Let's get pole. We can find two seconds and maybe, but I don't think we can find two seconds somehow. Annoyingly, we have got that Williams ahead of us, so two hot laps in a row. But then, mind you, we're not much quicker than them today. Not much quicker than them at all. I don't think this Alpha behind is on a hot lap. He'll probably box this lap. I think he's done his hot lap. For some reason in this game, a couple of cars do tend to go out and do a bit of an alternative quality. Pretty sure he's not on a hot lap. I would let him go, but he's, he probably won't have it. He'll probably try and let me go, will he? Oh, no, he won't, because I'm not on a hot lap. Right. Well, we've got a Red Bull behind us. We don't want him hassling us particularly. 
Hope we've got enough fuel. It might be a bit marginal if we do two complete push laps, but we may have to back out the first lap, in which case we'll be fine for fuel. Right, come on then, chat. Let's hope this Alfa Romeo head doesn't go for another lap. Right, come on then. Come on. Come on. Let's push it now. Got Red Bull close behind us. A bit early, trying to take an air apex. It was okay. We are up. Didn't feel that smooth, but we are up. Come on. Let's give it everything. Let's give it absolutely everything. Where can Charles finish as well? He's currently outside of top 10 too. Will he be able to prove his lap? Has he got any traffic? No, he hasn't. He's got Mercedes in front of him. That's perfect. Right, come on. 600's up. Let's push it. Wait a bit earlier there because I wanted to get a smoother line through the corners. Oh, a little bit deep. Not a great line through there, to be honest. We're a little bit up. Very deep there. Can I slate Apex? Oh, that was on the limit through there. Look how much we gained, though, by doing it. The power very early through there. I think we were slightly sliding through the whole corner, but we're two tenths up now. Ah, uh, could have taken a lot more speed through there. Okay, exit. Two and a half tenths up, not too bad. We've got another three tenths in the bag in this final sector. We are going to hold up Albon a bit, but... I don't really care that much, to be honest. 20 seconds still to make it to the line. Perfect timing. We are going to keep pushing, but to be honest, I doubt it's going to make a difference. Oh, a bit of oversteer in the middle of the corner. Still a lot. Look how much time we found. Seven tenths. Make that seven and a half tenths. Only P13. I'm going to push it again on this lap. Yeah, slightly better exit. Not by much. I don't even know if we've got enough fuel to complete this lap. Bottas has done a 39.3. What? How? Not great over Rouge there. He scored off a bit too much speed. That's still one and a half seconds quicker than us. The clerk's improved to... Oh, no, he hasn't improved yet. That might be... No, it's not disallowed somehow. That is. Yeah, that is. We're going to keep on it just because we can. These won't be our race start tyres anyway because we're not inside the top 10. We're at 10 and a half up. Let's just keep on it. I just want to see what we can do. Not a great line through there, to be honest. It's got about a tenth and a half up for now. Yeah, found a bit of time for there. Just by carrying a bit more speed. Could carry yet more speed. Bit of oversteer on the exit. It's going to cost us a little bit down this straight. Two and a half tenths up, though, again. Not too bad. So that is a second up on our previous best time. That, of course, is not going to count. We have already disallowed it. Don't know where Charles gone, but he did improve. I think. Oh, if we ran out of fuel, we're not going to know. We're not going to know what lap time we could have done. I'm going to... Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Two and a half tenths, though. We had another two and a half tenths there in the bag. P14 only. And where's Charles? Where is Charles? I'm going to wait this out just to make sure it doesn't simulate any lap times, but... P14. Let's see. If Charles like top 5, that's just me. Or OPAI. But if he's only around top 10 or so, 10th or so, it's just the car. For some reason, this car just doesn't have pace in qualifying. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. It's really odd. Really odd. Where is Charles? Only 11th. We were half a second off him, which is a big chunk of time, but even Charles, he had no traffic on that final lap. There was a Mercedes in front of him, and it was Bottas, who smashed it on pole by way by four tenths. Even Charles can get inside the top ten, and Charles is a good driver in this game. For some reason, this car just doesn't have pace in certain qualifyings. In the race, we'll be up there. I can pretty much guarantee you our race will be up where it should be, top five pace or so. For some reason, in certain qualifyings. I don't know what it is. Is it the Ferrari engine having rubbish qualifying mode? Anyway, 
only P14 again. We keep leaving ourselves with so much work to do on race day. We're not going to win a championship. We both keep qualifying outside the top 10. We could have found another two and a half tenths if, if we were lucky and one more position. So, whatever. Look at that field spread, by the way. 3.3 seconds covers the field in that one. I know it's a long lap. That's still a big field spread. Wow. Not a good quality chat. Not a good quality. Oh. Not a good quality at all. But, hey, I, I'm not too upset. Because if Charles was P3 and a second quicker than us, I'd be upset. He's only half a second. We had two and a half tenths in that last lap. I'm not, I'm not too upset. I think, I'm not, not going to say we got the max amount of it, but um, we weren't far off that. It's just the car for some reason. No qualifying pace. 22 lap race, not a long race, of course, because the, uh, the individual laps are so long. Could do with a bit of rain probably in this race, but I don't think we're going to get it. I don't think we are going to get it. Let's just jump straight into it then. See what we can do. Yes, so what do you think strategy-wise then, guys? What tyre do you think I should start on? Um, people are saying it's an easy, medium, soft. Uh... Let's uh, first of all have a look to see if there's any penalties. Have a think about strategy while, I, while we look at the potential for any penalties. No, none from Mercedes, unfortunately. They're P1 and P2. They are, of course, our big championship rivals. So them starting first and second. Let's hope that one of the cars behind can get past them. No penalties yet. Close to 11. No penalties at all. No penalties at all. The Spa, unless there's one right at the back, but... No penalties. No penalties today. When we could have done with them. Never mind. Right, so what do you think then, guys? Put in chat right now whether you think I should start on hards. Oh, sorry, on mediums or softs. It does look like it's an e easy uh, soft medium. So put in chat right now just the name of the tyre you think I should start on. Medium or soft. Simple as that. Uh, I'm going to take out some fuel, actually. I still want half a lap of fuel, I think. It's quite a few hungry circuits. A lot of long straights that I want some pace on. A lot of people say medium so far. Quite close in that. Diagram there, though. It's looking like medium is probably going to be the choice. To be honest, we should have a brand new set of soft tyres. Although, for some reason, the game's not letting us start on those brand new set. But uh, I think you guys are going to say, yeah, look. I mean, look at just look at chat. It's almost all mediums. 46 mediums, only 17 softs. So, all right. I'm happy with that. I'm going to put it... Uh, there that's the earliest we can come in if we can hold it a bit later maybe we should but that is the earliest we can come in we may need to get saved by a safety car or something weird here because it's an easy one stop for everyone i think um yeah clearly you guys are saying medium so i'm gonna get rid of that now stop the spam right well we need to make some good progress early on in this race i hope we've got some good pace hope that qualifying pace isn't everything we've got let's hope that was just a quality thing we've got some better pace in the race shall we come on let's give it a go Right, good. Why are we on softs? Did I did I select the wrong thing? I'm going to be starting to go on medium. So clearly didn't intend to do that. Uh, what? Oh, it was the it was selected the bottom one. That's weird. Uh, let me stream out. Thank you, Jane. Yeah, when someone saying no, I guess that's because I accidentally start on softs. I think I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Uh, I think this is going to start some mediums. There we go. Yes. Right. Come on then. Let's try and have a good start, but a clean start. There'll be some lots of overtaking opportunities. It is Spa after all. Let's do it. Straight through the middle. Poor start there. Oh, bit of contact between the Ferraris. Oh, he's pushing me. Has he got damage? Have, have we got damage? Look at what, look what we just gained. He's in P5, I'm in P7. But if he's got damage, that won't matter for much. Have I got damage? I've not got any damage. I'm going to try going outside. Oh, Shah, aggressive defending. Nice work. He has got some damage, unfortunately. Let's try and get past him now. Oh, I cut off a bit too much there, really. But from my teammate, he's probably going to let that guy through. Kvyat. Ah, oh, so fortunately, he's got damage. That was the dream start. Other than the fact he had damage. But I'll tell you what, I'm up to P5. He pushed me into that. I wish I could watch a replay of that, but I left it too long. I was too busy trying to have a good start. What damage do you have, Ben? What a, what a crazy start that was. Oh, almost got a warning immediately. Somehow got away with it. 
What a crazy, crazy start. Now, are we going to have the pace of the cars ahead? That's unfortunate because Charles is going to be nowhere in this race. We need we needed a double points finish, really. And I don't think he's even going to score points after his damage, which is unfortunate for him. But, oh, that was, that was mad. I'll tell you what, though. He is holding the pack up at the moment. He's not going to be fast. But if he can somehow defend and stay in P7... He's going to hold the pack up for us nicely, although that is going to mean that the leaders can have a nice strategy. But it's not going to matter. We're with the leaders. We're with the leaders. Just went in a bit deep there. Did go in a little bit deep, but it's not too bad. Oh, I hate that final turn. I just, I've never been able to do it. There's a yellow flag. Charles does box. That is unfortunate. He's probably going to take a two-stop now then. He's going to be out of the points unless it's a late safety car. That is a real shame. A real shame. Yeah, well, I mean, he supported us in going forward. He he literally pushed us forward. But uh, I, we needed double points today. We needed double points today. Can we get on terms with Verstappen up ahead? I'm going to use lots of DRS to try and sneak in the DRS. DRS, of course, DRS train is going to be very powerful around this track. They're all on soft tyres, let's not forget. So they should be faster at this stage of the race, but they will also wear faster. Oh, I don't want to get a warning. This early stage. I still can't believe that race start. I wish I watched the replay now. Never mind. No. Oh, stupid. I need to avoid that. Can't get a penalty in this race. It's going to cost us too much. We've not got the pace in hand to get a penalty and get away with it. Now, Charles, I'm just going to see which tire, tire Charles is on. Because he might get lucky. Has he gone to hards? No, mediums. He's going to have to box. Again, he needs a safety car and a lot of luck. Right, come on, let's try and stay on terms with the cars ahead. 1.7. They are just quicker in this middle sector at the moment. Is that our pace? Or is that the tyres? Hard to know. Keep it out sticking with us. Quite nicely. Got a bit of a gap to the field now, which is kind of nice. At least they're not all harassing us. 1.8 now to Verstappen. 1.9. Look at the slipstream they're getting. We need them to have a little battle, but they're not going to. Or, what they were side by side for a minute there. They weren't. They were just taking their corner. Oh, I just don't like it. What has done a 43.8. We've just done a 44.8. Only a second off. We're not going to get the DRS, but their tyres are going to hopefully start to wear sooner rather than later. Is it even worth me letting Kvyat out through? I don't know if he's fast enough. I don't know if he's fast enough. He's too far back now anyway. 1.7. We lost a few tenths that lap. But again, we're on the harder tyres. It's supposed to be half a second a lap slower. They're all, their tyres are going to wear, Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, we're doing a warnings tracker, are we? That'll go up quickly, I suspect. I'm not very good at warnings, am I? A little bit deep. Right, we need to try and have some good pace now. To try and get on terms with them. Because if we can get on terms with them, look. Ricardo is not far off the Mercedes at all. Look, you just saw the Mercedes flash through the screen there. We're already on lap three. So, if we can get on terms with them, we may be able to do something with some DRS. We just hold on to the DRS. We'll have the softer tyres as well. Don't forget, come the end. Let's just stick with it for now. See what we can do come the end. That was a nice line. That's a line I couldn't muster in quali. Oh, that wasn't though. No. Almost off track. But lots of DRS to use, by the way. Which is nice. Oh... How are you so good at F1? I mean, I'm in the th third fastest car and I just had to absolutely send it to get to P5 because I qualified 15th. I'm not sure I'd say I'm good right now. Now, is Verstappen going to get past Ricardo with some DRS this lap? Thing is, the Renault is so fast in a straight line. We just did the best final sector of the race of anyone. Are we fast in a straight line? It's also the line I couldn't muster in quality. We are using too much fuel. I'm just trying to see. We actually matched them that last lap. I think their tyres are already starting to wear. We did use a bit more ERS, but not excessive amount. Come on. I would love... To, if I was either within their DRS, I'd be loving life right now. I don't know if I want them to battle. I kind of want them to stick with the Mercedes. I don't want the Mercedes just to have an easy race. We need to be taking points off them. That's really what I, what I, who our battle's with. 
and start thinking about fuel a little bit. Entirely possible we don't get a safety car in this race. By no means guaranteed. No! Not good, chat. Not good at all. One more of those and we get a penalty. Almost got it immediately. Got very scared of it. Need to drive clean now to the end. We are closing in, I think. Very slightly on the cars ahead now. Tyre must be starting to kick in. Pulled a gap to Kvyat behind. Oh, that was so cautious. Problem with having been on the limit of warnings, it just forced you to be so cautious. I need to be quick, not cautious. Oh my god. So bad at track limits, aren't I? Let's call me Ben Daly. 2.1 now. 2.0. Oh, are, are they side by side? They are side by side. Staffan's going for it. Maybe we want him to get past because maybe he can get up to the Mercedes and just disrupt something. Oh, a bit of wheel spin on the exit. We went slightly slower that lap, but I think we gained on them overall. Oh, God. Not too bad. I thought it was deep in that. Mm, couple more tents. Couple more tents to get some DRS. Come on. And go on, Verstappen. Get in this lap and then get up to the Mercedes and take some points off them, please. We need them not to have a nice smooth race and just score some easy points. They're going to be side by side again, aren't they? They are going to be side by side. Slow each other down. I think realistically you're probably going to need a safety car in this race to get to the Mercedes. Although they're not that far away. Still side by side ahead. It's allowing me to close right up. Stappen surely should have it now. He's ahead. Coming to it. Yeah, he's on the inside. Oh, don't get a penalty. Don't get a penalty. Come on. Let's give me the DRS this lap, boys. I'm so bad at track limits. God oh, damn it. Pretend that didn't, didn't happen. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Let's stick with these guys. Get some slipstream. Get some DRS. Try not get any more penalties. <laughs> at least it means I can drive a bit more free now. Definitely try and keep it within track limits. But if I do go over them once, it's not the end of the world. We now need to find a three second gap over them somehow. It is a bit annoying how the AI... No, that never happens to AI, by the way. It is a bit annoying how it's quite unfair in that respect. They're, of course, just perfect because they are AI. They do make the odd mistake here and there, but it's just a little lock up and going a little bit deep. I'd love it if they got penalties and stuff, but you just guarantee they never do. Right, DRS. DRS. That's going to help us maintain our pace. Good done without that. A little oversteer moment there, but we're okay. Now, do we try and get past Ricardo here so we can get to Verstappen? Maybe we do. Maybe we do. I'm using a lot of ERS. He's so quick in a straight line, but we are gaining. Look at this. Look at this. Lots of ERS. I don't really want to get Verstappen as well. Maybe we have to. Maybe we have to. Oh, my word. I was going to try and stick to Verstappen. We just flew straight past both of them. Just blew past them like they weren't there. Amazing. Right. Well, can we can we maybe have the Mercedes pace? I doubt it. But P3 is probably my goal at the moment. Unless we get a safety car. Then the whole thing goes out the window. We're using too much fuel still. We're using too much fuel at the moment. Let's use more ERS, less fuel. Are they a bit slow now, though? Are the tyres starting to wet? I suspect pro probably are starting to wear, but not ready for a pit stop yet. Now we're in negative fuel. Not ideal. Not ideal at all, but I do want to try and run away. I don't want to be towing them along with DRS now. So I'm going to use a lot of DRS down here. In the hopes to see if we can get away, maybe. Stop them getting DRS. They probably will get it here. Steady's box. Sadie's box. That's the early than I was expecting. Hamilton. Hamilton's just boxed. Okay, it's the pit lap. That was the fastest lap of the race as well, chat. We're the fastest car on track. Can we maybe make this strategy work? Unfortunately, I think most of the cars were on the same start tyre. We have managed to break Verstappen's DRS. We're using far too much fuel, but I just wanted to get him out of our DRS, which we've now done, so I can now start thinking about fuel a bit more. Is Hamilton going to... No. 
Hamilton hasn't got any traffic. Unless the Haas gets him straight away. Go on, the Haas. Look at the minimap, chat. That is what we're watching at the moment. Don't watch me. Watch the minimap. Can the Grey Haas get past the turquoise Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton? Don't think so. I think he's just too far back. As Hamilton then's got a little bit of a gaplet. Use his pace. So he's not going to be held up for now. And I think, like I said, most cars, I do believe, are on the same strategy as the leaders. As in soft to medium. They're not really going to be doing much. Our teammate, by the way, is still at the back. Still at the back, annoyingly. In spite of the fact that more people are pit. I mean, Hamilton, if they stay out, Hamilton will get some traffic. But if they all box this lap or next lap, it's not going to happen, obviously. 1.5 still for, to Verstappen. That's enough. I just don't want to tone with DRS, which I'm not doing. Cardo boxed in, in amongst all that as well. By the way, none of them have got traffic for now. The traffic is absolutely key to this race. It was the key to the last race. It could be the key to this one unless we get a safety car, I assume. Yep, yeah, Bottas hasn't deep boxed. Does Verstappen box? Yes, he does. Ooh, missed a gear shift there. Got my buttons a bit confused. Trying to figure out the strategy more than I'm trying to drive the car. Drive the car should always come first. Alex, pay attention. So, yeah, pretty much everyone's pitting. There's going to be no traffic in this race, I don't think. It's going to hold Hamilton up. Or the Mercedes up, generally. That is a bit annoying. That is a bit annoying. We needed some traffic for those guys. All the cars behind that, they're all on softs. The Mercedes are not going to be held up by traffic at all. Only a safety car can bring us back into contention for this race win. If not, our maximum is P3, I think. We are, of course, on alternative strategy, so you never know. I'm going to keep up the pace, because we may have the pace. We did have the raw pace in Hungary, just after a hell of a lot of pushing. Have we got the pace here? Oh, it's turned a bit late. We're okay. We are getting a bit held up. Not much. Like, not enough to that we'd be ahead of them if we box now. So there's no point. They'd still come out ahead of us right now. But they are getting a bit held up for now. Let's hope that some of those cars that they are behind are on... Like, the, the ones that Hamilton's behind. He's behind an Alfa Romeo and a Haas. They could be on mediums, maybe. And they could be holding them up nicely. Bottas, though. All the cars ahead of him are all on softs. And they're almost certainly going to box this lap. So he's not really going to get held up at all. Which is a bit annoying. Yeah, Hamilton is certainly getting held up, but are they going to box? Are they going to box this lap? It's not going to mean much other than a couple of couple of seconds in the race. Bottas is on hards. Bottas is on hards. Interesting. Yes, everyone does box. Although, Stroll stays out. Let's hope Stroll can stay ahead of Bottas. Let's hope he doesn't let him pass this straight. Just one more straight of holding him up would be beneficial. But everybody else is out of the way now. I don't even know where our teammate is. He's in amongst all of that somewhere. I can't imagine he'll be anywhere but pretty much last unless we get a safety car. Both of the Mercedes, though, are on hards, chat. Are the, is the whole grid gone to hards? Because that could benefit us greatly. There's about a second lap difference between the softs and hards. That was very close. So we'll be on softs, they'll be on hards come the end, they'll be on worn hards, we'll be on new softs. Could that help us? Could that help us? Bottas is getting beautifully held up, by the way, by Stroll. Which you absolutely love to see. I need to pay a bit more attention to my driving, that was not a good line through there. Oh, and that bit deep. Seven tenths off my best now. No traffic there. We needed some traffic, realistically. We needed some traffic this race. We're not getting it for them. It's only 10 seconds to Bottas, 14 seconds to Hamilton. We're going to need some mega laps and softs at the end. For now, though, we just need to keep it out there on track. One point two off. 45.5. Let's see if we can improve that time. Should be able to improve it at least some. Okay, 
guys behind box now. It is just a straight dog fight between us and the... No, I thought Hamilton boxed for a second there. He doesn't... I was very confused. No, he does not box. And behind them, look. You've got Ricardo and Verstappen just coming into our relative in the top left. 20 seconds away. We need to try and come out ahead of them if we can. But I don't know if we're going to have that kind of pace. But they are also on hards. Everybody's gone to hards. If we get a safety car, we're in the box seat to win this one. If we don't get a safety car, I think we need to drive our absolute socks off to get any higher than third. Oh, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen, but for now I need to do my best pace I can. Yeah, oh, great corner there. Use a bit more ERS probably. The line through there, that was nice. He needs to be on that inside curb, really. That's part of the reason I adjusted my setup, is because that inside curb, it's a bit too, it was a bit too steep for my last setup. It wasn't, it was just causing overseer when I was over there, but this setup tweak has helped me actually ride that curb a little bit. We're going to use Rich for a short while here. What's the pace like? Driver behind. Last lap might have been traffic affected, but we'll still ask. Deep. He did a 45-0. He was only half a second quicker last lap. We did a 45-3. But I think it was traffic affected last lap. We'll ask again this lap. He's had a clear lap this lap. How much quicker is he? I don't think he's that much quicker, amazingly. I don't think he's that much quicker. We need to use a bit more ERS than we are doing because we're going to be boxing soon. You recharge quite a bit when you box. So, the game thinks we'll come out in third... The game thinks we'll rejoin ahead of Ricardo, which would be absolutely lovely. Then we could just concentrate on pace and see if we can maybe do anything about the Mercedes. Driver behind. Driver behind. Oh. Give me the time. Yeah, there you go. That's a that's a lap that's not affected by traffic. He's about a second lap quicker than us at the moment. That's more like it. That's more than what I expected from him. You need that little bit of uh, curb on the inside to help rotate the car. That's, uh, that's why I might oh, set up too much rotation because it's just helping it rotate too much. This is a good lap by the way. We're actually up on our previous. We've been saving a bit of fuel. Did use a bit more ERS but not excessive amount more. We could do a comeback out in P3, though. That will really help us. That will really help us. Halfway through this race now. Not a bad final turn there. 44-4. I'll tell you what, that's on their pace. Oh, is this going to be another race? We're going to have to absolutely sweat to be anywhere near their pace. Remember, the soft should be a second a lap quicker. More than that, because when you factor in the tyre wet. So let's keep this up. If we can do mid 44s and be on their pace. You never know what happened. Let's ask now what the last lap time of Bottas was. Driver behind. Okay, Racing the pits again. Same lap. Same lap that we did. We're on their pace. Even though we've got more worn tyres than them. But they are softer, of course. Deep in there. Oh, I don't want to be on that curb. Really can mess up. There's a yellow flag there. Is someone retiring? There's a Haas. Please throw a safety car. Please throw a safety car. Is this going to be a safety car, chat? This is the moment of truth. Come on. Be a safety car. Be a safety car. Be a safety car. Wait till the retirement notification, then we'll know. Virtual safety car. Virtual safety car. We're still going to box. I think. Are we going to box? We normally would have boxed next lap. Yes, I think we should box because it might save us a bit of time. Okay, slow down, slow down. Go away, go away. 
Can't tell him to box because he's too busy talking. This might be a bit early, but... Brand new softs are going on. This is going to save us a little bit of time. BSC is now ending, but it's it's this whole time it's saving us time. We could make a bit marginal on tyre wear, but BSC is now ended. This could make us a bit more marginal on tyre wear, but it's worth it. It's worth the risk, I think. We're going to go for this. P3 is in the bag. It pretty much always was. Now, though, we have got half a shot, half a chance of P1. There's P2. Not far away at all. We should now be a second a lap quicker than them. Seven seconds. Don't forget, we also need to pull that three-second gap. We should now be comfortably a second a lap quicker than them. 1.3 only to Hamilton. We can probably beat him. Bottas, though, he's having a blind of a race. Six and a half seconds up the road. Come on. We started, what, 40? Even to be in a shot of the podium is a great drive, but when you're this close, podiums don't feel like enough. We've got a four and a half second gap to Ricardo behind. I suspect we saved oh, a few seconds in the pits there. Not a huge amount, but probably two or three seconds, I guess. I mean, the game was already predicting we were going to come out in P3. We've only got a four and a half second gap, so the max it could have saved is four and a half seconds. Do we get some DRS on Hamilton this lap, to be honest? They're just so fast. They've got such a fast car, Mercedes. It's not a surprise, of course, but they have. We've got the tyre grip now. They were so quick through there, though. I barely gained on him. Amazingly, I barely gained on him. Come on. We're going to run out of DRS. Surely I'm still going to just about get some DRS on him. Surely. It's pretty close. Look how quick they are on a straight line. Where's the detection point? It's there. We do indeed get DRS on him down this next straight. But this is the short straight, don't forget. It's a long straight. It's going to make the bigger difference. So they need to make sure within a second on the exit of this corner. We're not going to do it. Or are we? Or are we? Oh, just. Just. ERS, overtake ERS saved us there. They are so fast, man. I don't think we can win this race. Although we have closed in on Bottas. Is it Hamilton that's rapid? They are so fast. Ridiculous. I think our max might be P2 today. Unless Bottas has an issue. They are so fast. So damn fast. We almost got an off track there. We managed to avoid it quite nicely. Bear in mind our tyres be pretty much dead by the end as well. They should be fine, but they won't be have very much speed in them. Taking a bit closer this time. Let's make sure we use all the time available like through there. That was much better this lap. Compared to last lap. Getting a bit early there. That's a roll with a higher minimum corner speed than I normally roll with. We square off that corner a bit more than that. Rain 10 to 15 minutes. That probably won't happen before the end of the race. Probably not. Okay, a bit close to Hamilton now. Get a bit of slipstream this time. But again, we're not all over him. We should be a second a lap quicker. Again, we are closing in on Bottas. Has Bottas got an issue? We're both closing in on him. Has Bottas got an issue? Well, Hamilton is the fastest lap of the race before we beat it immediately. We should hopefully get that point for fastest lap as well. Yeah, Charles is actually not last, but he's only ahead of the Williams. Now, do we just get him now and then push? I think we probably got... Oh, how was that not a warning? Probably got to try it. He's so quick, though, especially in the straight look. I don't know if it's using ERS or what, but he's so fast. Insane. We have to use so much ERS just to get to him. I'm going to run his outside. No, no respect whatsoever for Hamilton. Cut him off a bit there. Oh, a bit wide. Let's push a fast lap now. We're not going to be able to go that quick in a straight till the end. Unless we catch Bottas. Let's push. Let's push, 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 push. Let's get this fastest lap. Get that sign seal delivered. A bit wide. Not been the cleanest of laps, that's for sure. That was better. That was better through there. Let's keep on it. That's better. That was better. Oh, the rear end very slightly went light there. Got a bit scared. We're okay. Bit deeper in there. That was nice. Take a look at Apex. 
That was nice as well. Almost a warning, just about got away with that. Not a purple in the middle, but half a second up on our previous. We're going to run out of ERS. Annoyingly, we use so much down that straight, but hopefully Hamilton doesn't get DRS on us. We are pulling away now in the straight. So he's not going to get DRS. We managed to break his DRS. We also need to get three seconds away, don't forget, with our penalty. Still seven laps to go. Come on, let's just try and get the fastest lap this lap, though. Hopefully that will stand to the end, then. Not a great exit there. Running out of ERS for the run to the line, but it's only a short run to the line. We do indeed. Only three tenths up on our best, but still a three tenths up. Our best, of course, was also DRS affected, but not as heavily as that lap was. Right. Challenge now is to try and get to Bottas while also pulling a three second gap to Hamilton. All while maintaining our fuel level and trying to keep some charge in our ERS system and try not to let the tyres completely die. How are we getting on? Only 20% all round. All nice and even. That's what we like to see. 20%. How long have we been on them? I think about lap 12 we boxed, didn't we? So four laps. 20%. Oh, I can't do those maths while I'm in the corner. A nice exit to that corner at least. Oh, so close. So close. Hamilton is sticking right with us. They've got so much pace. No wonder we couldn't get anywhere near them in quali. He's sticking with us with hard tyres. It's mad. I mean, we're driving pretty much on the limit here. We're pushing. And he's still only a second away. I don't think we can pull this three-second gap. I know I said this last race, but he is so fast. He's even reading this. <laughs> I try to look at chat, but when it's intense, I struggle. When I'm concentrating, and, I'm, and it's pretty intense going on on screen. Oh, I don't know if we can do it. We are closing on Bottas, though. We'll say that. Maybe the two Mercedes battle, that could help us. Let's get the lap time update in a second from Bottas. Nine tenths slower than our last lap. That's without DRS, of course. We just need to not give Hamilton DRS. That's pretty key. Otherwise, he'll be sticking with us. Driver in front. This is for lap time. <laughs> four tenths on that last lap. Four tenths on the last lap. That's not insignificant, is it? It's not enough to pull the three second gap, of course, but you never know what happen. They could start battling. Two Mercedes could start battling and slow each other down. Unfortunately about the penalty. That is just classic me. I very rarely get through a race without a penalty to be honest. And Hamilton, we're having to push just to keep that gap. Keep my arm's length. He is so quick at this phase of the race for some reason. Much quicker than Bottas, I don't know why. We need to keep on it. Get to Bottas, but Hamilton's also closing the gap. As I said, we'll need them to battle, I think, realistically to be able to pull the three second gap. Because he's still sticking with us, despite the fact we're on a second of lap quicker tyres. He is so fast. So damn fast. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Don't need to worry on tyres. Yeah, we're only 30% still. Yeah, we should be fine. They should only be on 60% or so come the end. Bottas looks visually a bit closer. Box in this lap. Good one, Jeff. You know from me. Come on. We're going to need to do similar to Hungary and basically do quality laps to get Hamilton out of our <laughs> penalty range, I think. What was the last lap time? Driver in front. Didn't catch that. Say again. Driver in front. Deep. Another three tenths that last lap. Probably enough to catch him. Not enough to do much else. Like I said, unless they battle. I think realistically we're on for P3, unfortunately, in this race, despite what's going on in front of our very eyes. But I just can't shake Howard. He's so fast. I thought I'd be able to 
to be honest, I thought P2 was in the bag when I boxed, but on <laughs> hard tyres, he's so fast. Let me check tyre temps in a minute just to make sure they're not overheating, but they shouldn't be. It's close. Fire attempts. Totally fine. Let me get a bit longer. There you go. Totally fine. All green. Never rose whatsoever for tire attempts. Hamilton is almost in our DRS now. What do we do? Is there, is there a tactic we can deploy here? We might get DRS anyway. This next, after this next corner. No, pretty good through there for us for once. Not going to get it this lap. Not quite. It's close though. Only half a tenth. I don't think we gained on Bottas that last lap, unfortunately. I don't think there's anything we can do. Boost Hamilton up a bit, but he's not going to be quick enough, I don't think. Catch him in time to really make a big difference. What do you reckon, chat? Do we do we let him have DRS and through? See if we can catch Bottas while we stick in his in his wheel tracks. Driver in front. Driver in front. I think we were slower that last lap, or about the same, maybe. Yes, we lost two tenths that last lap. It's not enough. I think we have to let Hamilton through. Realistically, we're not going to be able to get him out of our, our DRS range. Uh, sorry, our penalty range at the moment. He's just too fast. We haven't got the tyres. We haven't got the fuel. Let's let him through and let's see if he can maybe catch Bottas. I doubt it, but he's only going to have three laps to do it. We're three and a half. So I don't think it's going to happen, but I think it's better to try that than, than not because we're going to lose the position regardless. There's a yellow... Bottas! There's a yellow flag! Bottas is retiring. This is for position. Apart from the penalty, go away. Bottas is retiring. Oh my God, that's an absolute send. We're going to run him out of room there. We're now leading this race. God damn you, penalty. We're leading the race. No safety car, no nothing. We just can't pull this gap, I don't think. He's going to get DRS this lap. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save. I'm going to... Do I let him through? What do I do? What do you reckon? Do I let him through and try and slingshot past him? I don't think I, I, don't think I can do it. I don't think I've got the pace. He's just too fast on hards. Damn you, penalty. Right, let's push like mad, like in Hungary. See what we can do, but... I don't think we can do it, but I'm just going to just see. Our tyres are probably more worn than his now. It's an off track. Two more of those, we get another penalty, but it won't make a difference. I can't believe Bottas just retired, but we're still going to lose this race. We're going to cross the line P1, potentially. It's another one. Oh, how's that not of warning? Very lucky. That was... I pushed pretty hard that lap. That was a better lap for me, for sure. And he's still only four tenths away. He's going he's gonna to beat us. He's going to beat us. I think we can keep him behind on track, but he's going to get us on penalties. Oh, man. Damn that penalty. That is really annoying. That is really, really annoying. I kept it clean for quite a few laps this race as well. I think I probably could have done that whole race if I tried harder. Break check, break his wing, easy dub. No, we don't, we don't win like that. I will say, though, with Bottas retiring, we're not going to lose that many points. Our teammate, unfortunately, if our teammate was just in, like, sick or something... We would have got some good points today, but against Mercedes. But we're not going to lose too much today. Only seven points. We're going to get the fastest up. There's only going to be six points. We're going to lose. But there's no way. There's no way. I I'm going to let him through just to see because there's there's nothing we could do. I had to back off quite a bit to let him through. Just to see. Maybe we can slingshot past him during the last lap. I doubt it. I do doubt it. Especially as he will obviously push for the fast lap on the last lap. 
Let's hope he doesn't steal it off me. But look, he's just so quick in this middle sector. That car is OP, man. How did we beat that car at Hungary? I don't think I can stick with him even. I don't think I can stick with him. But again, it's not going to make a difference. We would have lost this anyway. Crossing the line P1 makes no difference if you get a penalty. I'm struggling to stick with him. He's so fast. I had to try something. I want this win. We've got a comfortable P2 in our hands. I wanted the win. I just tried it. Looks like he's just... Look how quick he is. And he was the same member. When we were on brand new... Five minutes till rain. It's going to come after the race. When we were on brand new softs and he was on worn hards, we were struggling to stick with him. That's how quick Hamilton is today. That's how quick that car is today. And in fact, not that car. Hamilton. He was, but Hamilton was closing in on Bottas at quite a pace. You get some DRS this lap. Really bad final turn though. Really bad. Apple final set. Let's hope he... Oh, I'll tell you what I should have done. Just realising it was a mistake to let him pass. It's a big mistake to let him pass. He's going to go for the fastest lap. He's going to go for the fastest lap this lap. And he might be able to get it. He's so fast. I want to try and get him back now. But I don't think we can. We're too far back. Are we? Are we? Can we? Should we? He locked his, he locked his right front there. That was to stop him getting the fastest lap. He would have done it, I think, this lap. They're so fast. Got a bit of a gap, but not enough. I don't want him getting fastest lap. That's that's the point. That move was for a point. That was for one point only. That's all it was for. That's all we could get today. He's so fast, man. At this point, we were eight tenths back, struggling to stick with him. And look at him, he's all over me. He too is the absolute maximum today. And I tell you what, we started, what was it, 14th on the grid? Ah, oh, bittersweet this one. Bittersweet. I want, to, I want to cross the line first now, just to say I did. He'll send it on us in the final term. Hopefully we can defend that. Not going to lose three seconds in the final turn, is he? <laughs> he lose a bit, but not enough. We crossed the line P1. It's only going to be P2. What a shame. What a shame. We could have just got an epic victory. An epic victory. Someone might steal the fastest lap off me because they're going to simulate the last lap. Ah, oh, that is frustrating. Hey, look. P2. Phenomenal considering where we started. The break check this week. I don't want to win by cheating, though. Ah, oh, that is frustrating. But hey, guys, that was a good race. I want to see where I started. I think it was 14th, wasn't it? I do want to see where I started. Hopefully, we don't get stuck on this black screen there. We're okay. Come on. Yeah, it was P4 to P14 to P2, crossing the line first. We only beat it by a tenth at the end. Fast slap. We do get the fast slap of the race for an extra points. We only dropped six tenths to him. Shall finish 14th, which, bear in mind, he was the only driver in the whole field to do a two stop. That is not bad, but. Ah, oh, six. Ah, oh, man, that is so annoying. Our own fault, though. Our own fault. We went off track three times. I need to tidy the racing up. It keeps costing me. Last race, we got away with it. This race, we couldn't. It was so fast. We only beat him by a tenth and a half, and we were on tyres. It should have been a second lap quicker. Let's have a quick look at the standings. There are, there's now only six points between us in these standings. Amazing. Constructors, we're now 98 points back again from him. What was that? Round 14, so we've got 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Eight more races to go. We now need to average more than 10 laps per race to get this Constructors. I don't know if we can do that. I don't know if we can do that, but I'm just going to try and keep winning. We didn't win today. That would have been a 14 point swing today. Couldn't get it. We couldn't get it. Not cheating if the FIA don't realise. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining this one. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that race. I'm a bit frustrated, understandably, but look, 14th to second. If you told me before the race, you were starting 14th, we'll offer you P2 right now. I'd have bitten your hand off. P2 is a good result from 14th, but when you 
cross the line first, not just nearly get a win. You actually cross the line first. It's just normal to feel a bit disappointed, I think. Shame Charles had that incident as well on lap one. Um, tune in next week, next time, uh, next Tuesday at 7 p.m. UK time. Same time, same place next week. Uh, they'll also have a previously on where we can review that first turn incident as well. Uh, or obviously, you guys just rewind to, to, to see that because Charles just basically pushed us into turn one. But anyway, let's uh, quickly do the interviews and we'll round up the stream with Doggo as we always do. Replay the start. Right. Okay, I'll replay. Okay, re interviews. Then I will replay the start. All right. Uh, I think we're actually going to do power unit next. So I'm going to go power unit. Unit again. Oh. Interesting result. Come on, hurry up. Say that you're happy with your performance. That enough? Thank you. Right, I'm gonna have to go on my own stream to view it. Oh, let's get can't go away. Thank you for joining that one, guys. There it looks like we peaked out at almost five hundred viewers. Thank you guys. Hopefully uh next week will be just as entertaining as this week. We're having an epic season at the moment, aren't we? Really epic season. Thank you guys. Hopefully Oh, uh, that's myself. <laughs> Right, that's that done. Let's have a look then. At the start. Where is it? Here it is. Oh no, it's one bit more quali. Quali, 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 quali. And the start. Here we go. Here we go. Right, this is the start then. Uh sorry, you guys can't actually see that. Hold on. There we go. This is the start. Let's let, we'll watch this quickly before we round out the stream and then we'll get Doggo involved. Um, I'm going to play it on mute just so you don't get confused with commentary. Of course, what you can see as well is live me. Uh, right, so this will happen then. So let's play it in... Wrong button. Let's play it in half speed. So I'm just going to talk over this then, what happened. This is in half speed. Long hold on the five lights, interestingly. To eventually get going. Pretty good start. Not too much wheel spin, to be honest. We got that figured out quite quickly, and they were just sort of all over the track. We managed to sneak through the middle there. Much better start than Charles. But then we were aiming up the inside here, but then he just look, he hits us there. He hits us there and sort of hooks us. Then we get pushed there. There's another car as well up the inside somewhere. Look, he's already lost a wing there. He's already lost a bit of wing. We were lucky not to lose the wing there against the Alpha Tauri. We actually got a warning, but got away with that. And then he actually, at this point, we're fifth and seventh. That'd have been an epic start. Bearing in mind whether he started, he started P11. I started 14th to be 5th and 7th after turn 1. Unbelievable. Let's watch it one more time. So the Alpha Tower is on the outside here of Kvyat. And yeah, we've got a lovely start. But then we just sort of move over there and he just doesn't. He doesn't give us the room look. He just doesn't. We, we, we do turn slightly right there. But, you know, in, re, in real life, of course, they would have given us the room there. He just decides to hold his line. Bit of contact there takes away some of our momentum. Then sort of there gives us a nudge. So take away momentum there. We break there to be cautious. There we get another nudge. We wouldn't have been up. We wouldn't have even thought about going up the inside of Gasly. Probably without that nudge, we'd have gone to maybe Perez, maybe Perez. More likely, alongside Signs and Albon, there. I'd have thought just to be cautious to make sure we don't lose any wing. But look, I mean, look at that send. <laughs> wow, what a start! What a start. Anyway, guys, I'll go grab Doggo so we can round out the stream. Uh, I'll go to that view. And then, as like I said, next stream of this will be next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Uh, we've got a Thursday stream as well. We'll be doing a uh, traction stream, uh, as we do every Thursday, uh, for some open lobby. So if you want to race me, come and join me for that. I've uh, got a good video coming out on Friday. Look forward to that. And, of course, the Monaco Grand Prix this weekend. Enjoy that one, guys. Even if you don't like it, just appreciate those huge cars getting threaded around those tight circuits by the World's West drivers. Enjoy it. Uh, we will always be live as well afterwards to discuss the best talking points from Monaco about 6 p.m. or so uh, on Sunday. But anyway, let's go grab Doggo to round out the stream. Oh, I need to show you actually where he's going to come in. There he is. Well, there he will be. Hold on. Good boy. Classic. This is why he's not allowed in the room. Uh, and again, this is why he's not allowed in the room while I'm recording because his tail goes nuts, doesn't it? Your tail, your tail is crazy. Your tail is crazy. It is. You're crazy. Where's he gone? He's gone this side of me. Hello, good boy. Look at that wiggle bum. Look at that wiggle bum. Hello, Pepper. Good boy. Why have you gone into there? Come and see me. Hello, good boy. Well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, 
carpet. Yeah, this carpet needs a, needs renewing. It's very old carpet now. <laughs> also, uh, cream carpets with black dogs do not go very well. It's a little spoiler for you guys. Anyway, guys, catch you next time. Thank you for watching, everyone. I appreciate that one. Hopefully you enjoyed that race, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.